Okay, uh, this is uh, another reality check. You know, I realize that as I'm doing so much of this, it's not even a reality, sorry, it's a reality check, but mostly a testimonial uh, of how they try to create this, this reality. Um, and me putting this thing back in perspective. I'm listening to, to Perp right now, and like I said, they, they sound super gimmicky. Now, I know that these people that are creating this fantasy are it's it's like they've created their own little personality that sounds so childlike but trying to sound menacing now listen i know bad things are gonna happen to me this is people who are being humiliated and me not subscribing to the obvious manipulation i just heard somebody say that and and please i apologize for 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 the language i'm going to use but i hear somebody using this tone of she, you know she wants to sound menacing and she's like god his balls right they say they're gonna castrate me listen at this point because of the level of gimmickry these people have i'm willing to even bring a knife and provide the knife and say go ahead cut my balls because this the way these people are so fraudulent and childlike is so pathetic they created a movie where they're just like eh, if, I, if the more we torture you the more it's, this thing is gonna sound real target individual uh, the reason why they're sounding like that is as i'm <laughs> trying to focus try to concentrate it's hard they do a lot of things to me for me to to function it's just very too difficult it's difficult to 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 be able to uh to function that's what happens when you're target individual they make it hard for you to function but they and i've realized you know sometimes i do it's like oh my gosh i didn't send this because i'm so distracted in this ways that they manipulate me i understand this is the reality of what's happening to me functioning as a normal individual is going to be hard because of that I, it's going to be hard for me to be the 100 percent me that I can be i will be hard for me to to work and so they were trying to come up with this gimmicky thing when you see these pictures. Uh, and before I go into that, I want to break down what they were just trying to do. They're going to use torture to try to validate themselves. But the way they sound when they try to sound so, so like, oh my gosh, there's such like mystical feeling when in reality it's just almost comical now the torture is going to be painful but the way they try to sound every time to try to prove the point is so sad now bad things are going to happen to me this is coming from people who torture children right they wanted to play this femme fatale type of people literally even try to sound a certain way i'm looking at my emails and things i was supposed to send and i'm seeing some these things that are looking right now i expect <laughs> this is what you expect when you're being tormented this way, you're not going to be the most functional individual. Target individual, please understand, no human being can function properly with the type of torment we deal with. This is what would happen. I understand that. You have people who try to rewire your brain, manipulate your brain 24-7. You're getting all kinds of manipulation happening to you. You have distraction of all kinds. And this is what's going to happen. I understand that. I understand the reality I mean. So, I understand that these things will happen. Now, the target, the, the perps, to use these moments when you realize that you didn't send an email, you didn't do something or something just that doesn't add up when you look at, to try to come in and sound a certain ways and try to get you to accept this persona, <laughs> these manipulations that they've put together and that is in their ways, restructuring a way to create you as a pedophile, a Roy Moore. I say this specifically, Roy Moore specifically because they can't say this this name. The, you understand where this a sense of frustration comes from on their side, right? As they try to paint things together, you uh, are validated by the fact they can't even speak about this pedophile. And they're like, oh, we're mean. We're going to do this and that. Like, listen, I'm a, I'm a target individual who's putting here by people who are responsible to a pedophile. You work for a bunch of pedophiles. You've been renowned to do the pedophile type of torture. You're going to use everything you can to make me subscribe to this. But whatever I'm going to endure, you still work for pedophiles. You still do the pedophile type of torture. And I'd rather 
run toward this theater that lets you live your fantasy. Now, I'm talking to people who cowardness is just unbelievable. I know what they are. They wanted to paint themselves as this femme fatale. At this like strong femme fatale that you're going to avenge us. No, you're not that. Your bottom fears the government uses to, to, to apply these manipulations. I know. So in this moment where I'm seeing things are not adding up with my the things I've done here because of <laughs> the level of distraction I'm in, in. I'm going through a, a level of distraction that is just so hard to function. Functioning right now is tough. That's what you expect as a target individual. So this is going to be tough. I'm going to have to deal with the way I can function in these circumstances. And they come in and they're like, oh, you're going to die in hell. It's like, listen, I understand your job as a perp who is employed by these entities, these intelligence communities to experiment on subjects is to do horrible things to them. You even do that to children. I understand that. You are trying to block our reality. I accept reality as what it is. I'm a target individual. There's perps around me who've even tortured children in this coward way, of course, that are going to make life hard for me to function. You're going to create a false persona. You're going to create a reality that's falsified. And you want me to subscribe to this. You who tell me I'm going to die in hell is somebody who don't know where they're going to die, how they're going to die, and, and, and what's going to cause their death. Okay? Now, this moment, you have this feeling of empowerment. I understand. You feel empowered because you can see and you're participating in my death. Because you were employed by these people who even tortured children. You make yourself sound a certain way. You have this whole gimmicky voice you have created. And you want to sound this mystical. I understand you're not that. I know you're just a trash who probably a coward, a low life. That's going to get theirs at one point or another. You probably expect it at some point. But while you're talking to me, you're going to sound the way you're supposed to sound. I've seen these people target individuals. These people are not <laughs> what they present or sound like. They can cry over nothing. They can try to sound str walk strong, but you see them it's like you, you can die from nothing. This death I'm going to experience, however painful it's going to be, is dignified. They were trying to make me subscribe to this narrative. You see these people. You see these uh, like teenagers, late, you know, late teen or whatever. Um, when in 2019, there was when I was trying to not even try when I was trying to watch things that did not get me to something sexual. I watched these things. I remember watching this guy specifically. This 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 is a uh, I think an early 20 or something. He had like. Instagram content, very PG related. He, him, and his sister, and the sister's boyfriend will have things, and you can see that. And 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 you know, it was just very wholesome, right? It was nothing sexual, right? But you see this, her, her, the, the, the sister, very pretty, pretty, pretty girl. You see her and her boyfriend, her boyfriend too, you know. And they're like, "Oh, you found her pretty." I was like, "What?" They, 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 they have. They have nothing real at this point. Obviously, you see this content is not something that's sexual. They just are here doing their little family-oriented content. Very PG-13, very non-sexual. Very, you see they're her, her boyfriend, the brothers doing these things. Like, you know, child, gimmicky, family-oriented. Not gimmicky, sorry. They tried to make me use the same word that described them. But, but um, very just like friendly and just nothing sexual about this right they were trying to force me to to get this like perceptions of, oh but you thought she was pretty oh, very pretty look at very pretty girl good for her very her boyfriend oh beautiful couple both kids and the brother very yeah look look at them all of them but do you understand this is nothing that would do anything to me sexually now, I understand these people who can say about, speak about pedophile that picked up kids are going to look for anything they can to create as different narrations. You understand? This is what they try to, they try to make you accept everything that they can. Now, now in those moments when I'm, I'm, I'm working, I'm trying to focus on work, right? It's hard. That's their job. They make life hard for you. I'm noticing things are off. I need some, this email didn't properly sent or something. You realize, okay, this just doesn't look good. You didn't, you didn't do this. And I'm like, this is what you would expect. 
do you understand that you've been tormented and manipulated and radiated and, and then you can't sleep you get everything is just it's life is just very hard for me to function this is what happens when you're in this program you are not going to be the best you it's going to be tough to function this is the reality i mean i've accepted that their reality they try to block our reality they call themselves me no you are the trash this pedophile uses you sound a certain way. You even try to sound, make yourself sound a certain way. Let me reassure you that I will walk to the torture I'm going, I'm going to experience because I know you want to block our reality so bad that you want me to be like, no. Do you see this? They won't try to be like, oh, you want this. It's like, no, I don't. But you know what? It gave me like a very like fam- uh, a feeling of just like, oh, just very family oriented, nothing sexual. This, this is the kind of things I will watch to take me away from anything sexual right if i wanted to be stimulated sexually i would not be watching that now i understand you guys work for pedophiles you guys are trying to paint me as a pedophile it's okay that's the life you chose i'm glad you chose that because now you're trash and you're embarrassed to be seen by me you tell me about i'm going to get castrated in different fashion and i'm okay with that i prefer getting castrated than having to live your life you try to sound like a femme fatale. You came and speak about a pedophile called Roy Moore. You are here trying to make me have this st- uh, version of reality with this f- like family PG content on, 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 on Instagram with this brother, his sister, and the boyfriend. And, the, and this is what you have to do. I was like, oh, you think she's re- Yeah, it's good for her. This is, these people are just trying everything to, tr- to, to create this, this, this fantasy. And they're like, oh, Robert, because they can't say Roy Moore. Right, they can't say Roy Moore. They say Robert. Like, are like, okay? You're so sad. And then now, because this is just like them trying to create something. It's like, oh, you think it was like good for her? Now they try to about this this girl who's just an 18 year old at this point, right? Very pretty girl too. Very pretty. And they're like, oh, you see, you want? It's like, no, just look at that. When I see this kind of things, this is the kind of family oriented content that just doesn't drive any sexual stimulation toward me but you wanted to even though like this uh, she's 18 so they try to like create something else and they're like oh rapper they're like, oh, stop it you know who I, who I am for real you know and they try to wash brainwash me into accepting this thing using different tone of voices Robert U- utilizing methods of talking in certain ways to create feelings because what's happening today, if I'm looking at them today, oh my gosh, the stimulations, oh, sensations, oh, feelings, they will crank up stimulation. Matter of fact, when I was looking for this picture, and mind, mind you, I'm saying this before it even happens. I haven't even put these pictures that you see now together. As I'm going to put these pictures and that you see now, they're going to stimulate me and give me sensations. This is how predictable they are. In their manipulations. Because they're trying to paint a false reality. Now, of course, looking at them today, in the state I'm in, even the babies are forced, they're forcing me to be stimulated for babies, right? These people who are going to castrate me. So you can understand these teenage kids, they're going to do some cra- some nasty things. Because today, that's what's happening. It's like, the rapper, that's you. And they use the me. They're, they're going to catch your testicles. I'm just trying to be, they, they don't say testicles. I was like, you know what, I'll even provide the knife myself. I'll go here, come up, testicles, I'd rather die and suffer and scream than having to live the life these people live. Death comes to all of us. These people, I know what they're part of. I know they torture children. I know they're renowned for this pedophilia type of torment. And it's just to sound, and I hate the fact that they, because sh- it's so easy, to, it's obvious when you hear them talk that they're trying to sound a certain way. It's like, okay, let's, let's, let's sound this way. Oh, look, look, look. He didn't send this email today. He's going to be, he's going to start being that for by himself. Castrate him. Hurt him. Oh, he's going to die in hell. I'm like, okay. Do you think I don't understand what you're doing? In the moments where you, you find out something is not done or something is not looking good or something like that, that's when they come in. And they try to be okay. Well, let's jump in now. If we can sound a certain way. He can. It's gonna. It's gonna feel a certain way. It's like no. This is what I expect from being a target individual. It is so gimmicky. Even though the torture, 
will be real or are going to happen. The way they try to get you to accept this is gimmicky. The, the way they try to sound is gimmicky because they are trying to get you to accept these manipulations and try to create their version of reality because these people reality is they work for pedophile they've been doing the perfect type of torture and they hurt children and they know who you really are that their, their job is not to find out who you are is to manipulate you into something else i know what these people do i know who i am trust me what you're seeing there is not what's going to drive me to feeling sexual but what they're doing today as i've been speaking about it i've not even pulled these pictures up they stimulate me in advance this is what they do. Death comes to all of us. I'd rather die in hell. I'd rather be drowned. I'd rather get stabbed up than do whatever they do. And then face death when they do what they do. Death is not unique to targeted individuals. These people who try to sound that in hell and try to sound this way is going to die. Now, understand how pathetic it is. This, die, this man who's going to die in hell can see what they're saying for what they are. These people who are trying to make you subscribe to these pedophilia things knows that these people actually are working for pedophiles and have not the ability right now to say Roy more freely. A pedophile that picked up kids, much younger than these kids. You understand? Well, these people are telling me how I'm going to die in hell. Okay. Like I said, talking individual, find dignity in this death. I just ask God to give me strength for the theater. That's what I call it. Just like she's, uh, she's creating theater but sounding this way. Just like she wants to sound this menacing, oh, we're so cruel. That's, that, that's how they sound. They want to portray, portray themselves as these femme fatale people. They're not. I'm I just like, you know what, I'm not even going to let you live your fantasy. Tell them, tell me how cruel, yeah, you are very cruel, you even hurt kids. I know that's the kind of cruel you are. You're savages, yes, you're savages that kill kids and torture children. So to all my target individuals, look at what they're trying to change into something else. This, this PG content is definitely not what's going to take me to a place where I feel sexual. She's like, oh, but you think she's good for them. Watch this. This kid's. This is her, her boyfriend, and the brother. This is what really turns me on. This delusional. Or this, this 18-year-old. Very pretty. Good for her. But, but, but what, you think this is where I need to, like, this is what takes me to, <laughs> of course, they know that. They know me very well, and they try to change me very much. They know what, what it takes. Now, today, as a target individual who is, who's in the deal of the V2K, they control my arousals. They control my stimulation. I'm making this, this recording, this video, before even pulling this video, these pictures up. I'm not even pulling, the, I'm not seeing those pictures. I'm just looking away talking right now. They're stimulating me in advance. When I, I put this thing together, they're going to stimulate me even more. Because they have control of your arousals. And they make you feel stimulation. They're going to try to implant that in my memories. And say, so that's how you felt. That's how you, you're going to, that's how you feel. That's like, no. Now they're like, oh, but you see, she thought she was, like, yeah, very pretty, good for them. They put all of the, like her, her boyfriend, all like that, yeah. But they want you to start accepting this version of reality. Well, in reality, <laughs> this is the kind of content I will watch if I didn't want to think if anything sexual. And you hear this bottom feeders who opens the door to try to disorient me and say it's fate and slams the door back. You see the theater? She's saying that because she wants to disorient me and want me to kind of go into their fantasy. When reality is fate that this article comes out saying the amount of pedophiles in these agencies, agencies, intelligence community agencies, which contract these people, is, is what is going on in those agencies. Why is there so many pedophiles in those agencies? intelligence community agencies why 
why is there so many pedophiles in those they do all this kind of background test or bragger background check all this thing they, they but they, they even done no chop on on their government devices it's fate it's fate that these people have issues or cannot speak about Roy Moore openly or they have to find a way to say it because the employer who put me in this program donated money to this alleged pedophile and they're like oh it's alleged <laughs> okay it's your world right it's fate to all my target individual be strong and understand this whatever is going to happen a lot of it is going to happen in this theatric way in these ways of creating a false reality but reality comes back and boom, embarrass them embarrass them and me my brain is becoming more and more fried up forgetting who i really am it's, my memories are fading away it's hard for me to function this is what those, those are this is what happens those are the symptoms of being a target individual memory loss functionality uh, mental retardation like these things is, is what you exp this is part of the symptoms and you hear this person coming in and using her, her gimmicky voice that's when she starts talking like hey, yeah oh it's gonna we're gonna castrate you oh robert she came and said roy moore right oh castrate and then she, she tried to talk about oh it is right i was like oh you who not only do these terrible things with these torturing children, who you who rapes, use rape torture toward women who want it to sound like a femme fatale. I will not let you live your fantasy. You are here trying to make me be something I'm not, and then try to disorient me. To all my target individual, these low lies, damn near pedophiles for the, the ways they try to manipulate you to think in these ways. We'll get theirs. This is not life to live. They're going to die. You know, I'm glad they do this because, you know, obviously somebody will do what they do. They employ a lot of people to do what they do. But I'm glad that <laughs> these people live their life doing this. It's, it's, it sounds gimmicky and I'm not subscribing to it. Now, what's going to happen to me is going to happen to me because uh, they've been humiliated. They're going, they're going to use torture as a way to be like, oh, if this is happening to him this way, if they're castrating him, it's because he is full of this. Like, no, you guys are paid those and you wanted me to subscribe to this. Whatever's going to happen to me, if I'm going to get castrated, if I'm going to get stabbed, all this is just for you guys to try to delude yourself from the reality that you guys are working for pedophiles, stimulating me toward kids, do the typical things you do to others. And now you try to rewrite memory and think that, oh, this is going to happen to you. Then believe that. No, you're falsifying who I am. And you think me dying in hell validates you. <laughs> you who don't even know where you're going to die, how you're going to die, or when you're going to die. To all my target individuals, stick strong because these people sold their soul to pedophiles and now try to make you something you're not. And um, as I'm actually you know, pulling up these pictures, now I have those pictures. I was looking for the name of this acrobat girl you see on the, like, like on the bottom left, um, who's on the, also the right. I was looking, of course, I couldn't remember who she was. So I'm like Googling, uh, you know, like arrow person, whatever, and Logan. For, and there was like a video of her when she's definitely maybe like she's most likely an underage there. Oh, my gosh. They're stimulating me big time. Like I said, they're going to try to force me to get stimulation. Now, this is what they do. Do you see this? Obviously, that's that kind of content they have there. It's just very family oriented content. It's not something where you like, oh my gosh, it's just very friendly, family oriented stuff that definitely didn't take me there. And yes, very pretty girl, pretty, you know, like beautiful, beautiful girls, but they're kids. But they want me to think of that this moment was something sexual. It wasn't. It wasn't. And they try to find ways to make me imagine them in, in a sexual way. It's sad, it's pathetic. This is a very non-sexual, very, um, you know, family-oriented stuff. But I understand as, uh, you know, they want me to subscribe to this for more persona. They really think that this is what was driving me in a sexual way. Right. Reality is they can manipulate me in every way sexually now. And they want to feel validated in the manipulations. You know, um, me right now, what, what they just did, because 
you know, this person on the bottom right with the curly hair, very pretty girl, very beautiful uh, young girl. Um, she maybe the first time I saw her, maybe she was like 18 years old, but very like innocent in the sense and very family oriented, like family PG related content because they want me to be stimulated toward her when she's underage. When I was looking up her name just to create these specific pictures and videos, they start stimulating me because in that picture, she's underage. That was the first time I see her as an underage. So they stimulate me to create this, this BS. That's what they do. So reality is what they manipulate. I refuse to let them live this fantasy and will continuously bring reality toward the things they want to escape from. They force me to have ex uh, stimulation toward kids. They try to create false narratives. And this is a way for me to always put things back in perspective. And as they try to call me their pedo, they are the one working for pedophiles. This is content that, that was very PG oriented, very like innocent and non-sexual. Now they try to force me to experience this in a sexual way. But of course they've done that to much younger people. So this is really not the worst. But to all target individuals, regardless of what's going to happen to you, I'm not going to let them leave their fantasy. They're going to really have to dumb themselves down and play these gimmicky, gimmicky ways of creating their fantasy. Whatever I'm going to die, however I'm going to die, I know that I'll never subscribe to these things.